Okay, the first thing we're going to look at on this dough is back here at her on her udder, and let's turn her sideways where we can show you whether or not she had been lactating. Okay, now obviously this is February. She quit lactating a long time ago, so I don't expect to find milk in her udder, and that's a, uh, a mistake a lot of people make is they look at it and they go, "There's no milk. She wasn't lactating," but she was because here we can look at at her bag area. They have four teats. Okay, and uh, they're, these are elongated and the hair is worn off around them. So that means that she nursed a fawn this last year. So we're going to call her lactate. Now Dr. Comer's found something really cool here. If I don't know if you can zoom in on it or it's not. It's actually a louse fly. It's, a, uh, um, it's a, basically a harmless parasite. It's not a blood sucking parasite. Uh, it doesn't transmit disease or anything like that, but it uh, fools a lot of hunters into thinking it yeah, is a blood It's a dander eater, also called kids. And a crab would scurry sideways and usually be embedded. So, okay, so she's got uh, quite a few of them. It's just uh, it's one of those density-dependent things. But they're they're where they're supposed to be, and that's in the groin area. And they're they're they'll be abandoned there pretty quick. Now I don't know if y'all can see it. Let's if y'all would if I can get some assistance here. Let's raise up her rear end so we can show them this what I was talking about on this bag. Okay, you see right here where it's, the hair is worn away. She is nursed, and look at the length of the teats, and they do have a little bit of milk still in them. So she had nursed. All right, that's the first thing we're going to do. The next thing we're going to do is get ourselves a knife here, and we're going to extract the jawbone, and we'll keep it for record, and we'll also, uh, it's easier for everybody to see. So we'll clean this away. All right, we're going to free this jawbone up. You okay? Yeah. Don't let me get you. All right. All right, we'll clear it all the way back here to the back of the jawbone, okay? And we're going to take a pair of loppers here. We'll cut the front first. Ready? Okay, we cut that. Now, if you'll, we'll work it back. Hold that for me, would you, sir? Watch yourself again. We'll cut this right here. All right. Now, I forgot to warn all y'all when we started here. If you'll hold this right there, that. This is, uh, this is uh, for mature audiences or for experienced hunter audiences because we, uh, we got, there's blood. No apologies for it. It's part of it. There we go. All right. Now, take the knife and finish cutting it out if you would, Ryan. We're often asked about how to age deer. There are six teeth in the lower jaw of a mature deer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. The first three up to 18 months of age, maybe 22, or milk teeth, and then the third, they're shed and replaced, okay? That makes the fourth tooth, this one right here, the oldest tooth in the jaw. So it's gonna be the one that shows the most wear. Now, when looking at this deer right here, we've got wear on all six teeth, including the number six back here, which are the youngest teeth, okay? And we have very little enamel left. This deer right here is six and a half years old. <laughs>